Class 6 is a hip-hop rock hybrid band that was formed in Glassboro, New Jersey in 2007. Lead vocalist Chris Bell, producer Kyle Hall, guitarist James Logan, keyboardist Tony Lee, bass guitarist John Logan, and drummer Dan Benevento are the six members that make up this band of brothers. Uh, really, it just uh, started with uh, me and Kyle. We was in a, another group uh, that was more hip-hop based. Um, we decided to uh, take a different route uh, musically, and uh, you know, as time goes on, we uh, came across a couple different guys. Um, they each came in at different times: James, later Tony, and then John. Um, and now uh, we have the great, unique sound that we have now. It is precisely the band's inner solidarity and mutual dedication that has enabled them to enjoy continual success. National traveling, feelings of reaching stardom and even group fun typify what goes on behind the scenes of the band. In addition, the band has enjoyed increasing popularity. Like we, we slowly see like more people that we don't know like hitting us up on social networks and stuff, and we slowly see more people that we don't know at shows that get into it. And it's, it's, just, it's, real, it's, it's, it's really encouraging. But has it always been this way? Was success always in plain sight? Or rather, did classics undergo trials early on, even with regards to performance locations. God. Coffee shops, <laughs> coffee um, shops, open mics, yeah, a bunch, bunch of places, pl places that really aren't meant for shows, like churches, <laughs> <laughs> anywhere that smells musty, we yeah, play. Any, anything that like it wasn't, it just, it was a mess, and there's so, no one there. <laughs> Everybody in the band is completely open with each other, so there's there's no hard feelings if we do get into an argument over something. So I mean, it, it's it's very easy for us to just come to a, a mutual meeting point and just say, okay, this is what we like, this is what we don't like. How can we, you know, compare all these two together, and then well, you know we get our end result. Even amidst early struggles, the band stuck together, and it was precisely these struggles that ultimately made them stronger as a unit. Before long, they were able to transcend the boundaries of the ordinary. On the contrary, the band's reality became as such, entry into the threshold of professional stature. The fight's never over, because um, I mean, we've gone from, like we said, from coffee shops to playing in front of one to two people, where, uh, you know, we were, you know, blessed enough to play in front of 3,000, you know, so, and it's still, it's always that constant goal of, you know, getting more and doing better, so. Yo, we're about to get crazy tonight. We're opening up with LMFAO, Luda, and Kesha. So if you're missing out, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, it's just that we've been getting, you know, a little taste of things here and there. Especially with the uh, show that we did for Prop Stock last year, you know. Especially coming from playing to two to, you know, to a you know, a gym that's full of, you know, students, so. As with all bands, Classics frequently tries to promote themselves through many different mediums. You name a social network. Oh, yeah. network. <laughs> it's, all, it's all on the internet. Yeah, you guys have a Facebook page. We have, we have a lot of, uh, we, we've been putting a lot of emphasis on our YouTube lately, you know, trying to, like, get a lot, we have a lot of covers up. We have a pretty strong amount of those. We've been getting a pretty good response from those two. And each, each time we put a new one up, we're getting gradually more and more views. Classics has even made an appearance at the annual Rowan Telethon, where they talked about the band, its success, and their anticipation of performing at Propstock. But I haven't broke a sweat. We never sold out, but we got a solid crowd. If I don't get a hit, I'm approaching the mound. Rushing the Perhaps the most decisive way in which classics would promote themselves would come in the form of what is known as the break contest. A contest involving 600 bands from four different states in the northeastern region of the nation. The competition commenced in January and leads up to the Bamboozle Music Festival a three-day music festival held in Asbury Park, New Jersey, which features over 50 prominent bands and artists. So you guys are pretty much competing against 600 bands mm -hmm. in the northeastern region of the United States. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that doesn't phase you guys at all? It's, it, it's, it's tough, and, it's, and it says a lot, to be honest. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but, you know, I, th I think it's great that we have such opportunities like this, like the break contest, to, you know, for us to showcase our, you know, our skills and our, you know, our style of music. The champion of the break contest, along with four runners up, is guaranteed a performance spot at Bamboozle. If we, go, if we get to Bamboozle, we're going to try to bring as much merch, as many, you know, t-shirts. We're working with a couple, you know, actually, actually Rowan-based uh, clothing companies now trying to get some, some joint stuff going so we can... Just give out CDs, shirts, like, like just get as many people there with something to take away and remember us by. The break contest came just four days after, and amidst an overall successful performance, Classics was presented with unfavorable circumstances, which nearly jeopardized their chances at Bamboozle. Not even ten minutes into the break contest, Classics experienced technical difficulties. Despite this, the band persisted, and provided an overall solid performance, more than compensating for their earlier mishap. After meeting success in the break contest, Class 6 will perform at the Bamboozle Music Festival in May of this year. Will the band succumb to the pressure of performing on a professional platform, or will they live up to their full potential and prove themselves worthy as playing with the world's most illustrious musical artists. Time will only tell. Give it a rest, you're a mess Behind those pretty eyes But the best of you isn't good enough But the best of you isn't good enough